guys, it's Elisa. Today's video is going to be the best of beauty for me <laughs> in 2016. So, I have gathered all the things that I've been enjoying and loving throughout 2016 and I decided to put them into one video and share them with you guys. So, there is some fun favourites in there as well, but most of it is beauty related. So, let's just get started because we might get very long. So, grab a snack. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is amazing. Speaking of which, yesterday, don't know when it was for you guys, probably a long time ago, Jeffree Star liked and retweeted my tweet on Twitter. Very, very exciting for me. Anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. Jeffree Star has some amazing, amazing cosmetics brand. I love his brand. So, first thing I want to talk about is his Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I love these. These are my favorite liquid lipstick formula in the history of the world. I'm wearing one right now. This is Deceased, which is this shade. So I'm wearing this one right now. I love the way that these apply. You do not need a lip liner with them. They're always opaque. One sh like swipe, you do not need a lip liner. Um, they're not streaky. Um, so I will say there is a, an exception to a few of them, like Chrysanthemum I feel is really really sheer, but like this is the only one that I find that with, and I don't really have a problem with that because you just, like even if I build up that shade, it's not going to go a bit like chunky on me, which I love. He has such a variety of shades, some of them are scented, some of them are not, they're vegan, they're cruelty free, they are just amazing. They last forever, you can go eat... I don't know, a taco, and you'll still have your lips on perfect the way you have them. So, I love them. Some of my favorites are I'm Nude, Posh Spice, Leo, Androgyny, Designer Blood, Redrum, Dreamhouse, Crocodile Tears. I know it's a bit awkward to have a green lipstick, but it looks really good on. Sagittarius, Deceased, Dominatrix, and Weirdo. Those ones are my favorite. There's only a few in here that I didn't mention, but all of them are amazing and I just need to fill up this spot and that spot and I'll have an entire case full of Jeffree Star. So I highly recommend those to you guys. Since we're still talking about Jeffree Star, we'll talk about his eyeshadow palette. This is the Beauty Killer palette. This thing has been loved so much. Um, I, As you can see, this shade, abused, like there's no like star in it anymore. Abused to the max. I use this shade and this shade almost every single day when I do my makeup Doesn't matter what palette I'm using. I will always pull this palette out for these two shades here That's China White and Courtney. This rich bit shade is no joke. It is the most yellow gold beautiful Insanely pigmented vanity right here is to die for it does look black on the camera But it's like a black purple if that makes sense. I love to wear this with Rich Bitch, just on the outer V, and it just gives this weird looking color that not many people wear. And then lastly from Jeffree Star are his Skin Frosts. I have a lot of shades. Yes, I just did smash one in my makeup collection video, which you guys saw. Oh my god, worst day of my life. So this first one I have on top is Peach Goddess. I love this shade. Um, I did smash this shade just here when I was at a makeup course thing one day, and I smashed it, but only smashed this half, so I just kind of fixed it up with some rubbing alcohol. So I love this. It's so beautiful just to the way it just sits and the sheen of it. If I don't wear blush one day and I just use this Peach Goddess shade, it is insane. So I love Peach Goddess. Another shade I really, really like, Princess Cut. This shade is literally so, so beautiful. It's very, very similar. It's like Peach Goddess and Ice Cold had a baby. The Beauty Killer palette. There's a shade in there called Princess. And as you can see, they're very, very similar colors. This is the eyeshadow, this is the highlight. The eyeshadow just happens to have a bit more lavender to it, which I love in it. So if I wanted to use that as a highlight, I'm not gonna not do that. The next one is Ice Cold. Ice Cold is a beautiful white shade. I use this shade every single day, not necessarily to highlight, but to do my inner corners. This is amazing, it opens my eye up, it just has a beautiful sheen to it. Everywhere I look, I can just see a beautiful glisten of white. And I love it. So this is ice cold. Like, look at the pigment on that. Like, insane. Like, come on. You can't beat that. And then the last one, and it's my favorite one, and I happen to smash this one. I can't believe it still. This is King Tut. This is what it looks like now that I fixed it. Doesn't have any J Star in it anymore, but I'm glad to still have it, and it still works better than ever. So there is King Tut. I like those skin frosts so much because they're extremely pigmented. I love a highlight that is just going to blind people. I don't want anything that's going to be like, eh. Yeah, you got a little bit of a glisten on your cheek. I want it to be like, bam, there it is. 
look at me, I'm highlighting, I'm glowing, you can see me from Mars. Like, that's what I want to see. I guess since we're talking about highlighters, I do have another highlighter that I will mention. This is the Sleek Solstice Palette. I love this highlighter palette. This is insane. This shade here is my go-to. It is so blinding, just a little bit of this, you go boom, blind. Um, this shade here is a cream, which when I first started using this palette, I took the cream, I put it on my cheek, and then I took this one on the top, and it looked a bit odd on my skin tone, because I think my skin was just a little bit too dark for that combo, but I did the cream with this shade here, amazing, blinded so many people, <laughs> they're like, whoa, what's up with your cheek, and I'm like, <laughs> I know, but I love this palette. It is definitely, definitely, definitely a necessity and a great thing and a great purchase to buy. Get this. Next, I'm gonna talk about my favorite blush of 2016. This blush has been around for so, so, so long. I bought it and now I've hit pan on it. It is so good. This is Benefit Coralie Star Blush. Two reasons why I love it. Firstly, the color of it is amazing. It is a corally blush, which is what I like to wear when I do wear blush. And it smells really good. I don't know if anyone else who owns this blush smells like it smells like that, but it smells so good. It kind of smells like roses or something. I don't know. I just think it's really, really love it. I use and abuse this every single day when I wear blush. Like, I don't wear blush every single day, but when I do, this is on my face. It is amazing. Love this. Get your hands on it. Next thing I'm going to talk about some other liquid lipsticks that I've been loving this year of 2016, and that is Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are very, very good. They're not as good as Jeffrey's in my opinion, but they're very, very close seconds. So I only have a few, and the ones I have are Dolce K, Malibu, Candy K, Coco K, and Brown Sugar. I like these. Um, it took me a while to get used to the scent of them. I found the scent was just a really strong, but now that I'm used to it, it's okay. Smells like um, frosting, like of a cupcake. So if you're not into strong smells, you may not like these, but it's taken me a while to get used to them. I'm used to it now, it's fine. My favorite shade is Malibu. I think it looks good with any look I put on. It's where it could be a bright pink eye, a neutral eye, just a bit of liner. This will look good with it at any stage of the day. Next, I'm gonna talk about my favorite eyeliner. I'm wearing it right now. This is the Beige Cosmetics Liquid Liner in Black Noir. This is insane. The tip of it is so, so nice. It's like a felt tip kind of deal. It's not like a brush tip like the Master Precise by Maybelline is, but this is really, really nice. It gives me such precision, gives me a nice wing, and I will never ever not do a wing if I'm doing eyeliner. So this is amazing. It's opaque. It's black, full pigment, exactly what I look for when I do um, eyeliner. So I highly, highly recommend this to you guys, and it's affordable. BH Cosmetics has a lot of amazing stuff. So if you haven't checked that out, Go and check them out. Since we're talking about BH Cosmetics, we'll talk about my brow pomade. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me ramble on about this for a long time. Brow pomade has changed my entire life. I used to be a powder girl. I used to do powder brows all the time. And then set it with some gel. I'm all about the brow pomade nowadays. It is life changing. Just the way you can sculpt out a brow now is amazing. I just don't have enough good things to say about this. This is a great dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. Amazing, even the Benefit Cabral. This is so cheap and so good. It is waterproof, like I can go in the shower with a full face of makeup on, everything else will be like all over my face and my brows will still be perfect, so love this. Next, I'm gonna talk about some glitter liners. I have two from BH Cosmetics and one from a collection, so we'll start with that one. This one is the Jade Little Mix one. Um, I do believe that the Little Mix one, like this exact one, does not get made anymore, it is discontinued, but the new one, I believe, is called Glam Crystals or Eye Crystals or something like that. And it's the exact same. It's called the shade Le Freak. But the one I'm holding right now is the Jade Little Mix Glitter Liner shade. That is it right there. This is my go-to um, glitter liner when I want to do stacked liner. Stacked liner is a new thing that I've been doing. It's really, really fun. So if you want to see a tutorial on that, please let me know. But other ones I really like are from BH Cosmetics and they are the glitter eyeliners. The first one is in the shade Rapture. Can we just look at this? Look how shining, shimmering, splendid it is. This one has got gold and silver glitters in it and it is just like so beautiful. I've only done a stack liner with this one once and it wasn't what I really wanted my stack liner to look like and my wing was a little bit off. But 
this is amazing and then I use this one which is an iridescent one called Synergy and this one goes right in the inner corner of where my um, white is sometimes I'll just go straight in with a glitter and this one has a like a blue green reflect to it because it's so iridescent but there it is there it is so beautiful and I am obsessed with them so if you haven't tried a glitter liner before whether it's do inner corner or stacked liner give it a go it might change your life might be something fun to do. Next, I'm gonna talk about my go-to palette for this year has been the Manny MUA Makeup Geek Collaboration Palette. This palette is life-changing. This shade here, these two, and this one right here are my favorite. It just gives you one beautiful look, so amazing. This shade here, I could not live without. I need this shade in my life. This shade is called Artemis. It is beautiful. And then this one down here is called Aphrodite. These two shades I need in every palette that I ever buy. <laughs> so if you haven't, I don't know if this is still around, it might be discontinued or sold out, but if you can find it, definitely check it out. It is amazing, definitely worth your money. Oh, I've left out one highlighter. This is ColourPop Spoon Highlighter. It is very, very interesting. It's like cream touch when you like touch it, but then when it comes to like putting it on your face, it turns into like a powder kind of feel. I don't know, but I think it's really, really beautiful. It's just here. Um, I wore this in my Glory Days reaction video, so if you're wondering what was on my face at that time, it was Colourpop Spoon. Amazing. Definitely love it. Um, I don't know if I like Colourpop eyeshadows. They're kind of a bit awkward to use, but I definitely love their face highlighters. I think they're amazing. Next, I'm going to talk about some concealers. The first one is the Kryolan Concealer Wheel. This is so amazing. It is full coverage concealer. I do this before I even do my foundation. So I do primer and then I do this. I have a lot of redness around my nose area, so I take this shade and this shade, I mix them together and I apply it on my nose and then blend it in with a beauty blender and the redness is completely gone. Even this orange shade just here, I'll put under my eyes if I have any like um, blue or anything under my eyes, the orange concealer on it and it cancels that out completely. I am obsessed with this. You need it if you have like redness in your skin and it shines through with your foundation. Give it a go, see how you like it. I definitely recommend this to you guys. And then a concealer I've been using a lot is the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio <laughs> Concealer. This is very similar to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. So I, I use this in shade 10 Fair to carve out my brows and to do my concealer under here because I use a lot of, like concealer and all sorts of things and I need it to be full coverage first go. And this is amazing. Foundations I've been loving in 2016, the first one I drop on the floor. So the first one is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I wear the shade Y365. It is a little bit dark for me, so I just kind of whack in some of that concealer and it, it gives me a beautiful coverage every single time. So that is this one. Um, this looks amazing in photos, like hence the HD. Yes, HD to the max, amazing. I love to wear this for events or parties or when I just really want to like take a nice Instagram photo or anything like that, I will wear this. And then the other one I really like, I've been wearing for so long, and this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I wear the shade 1N2 Ecru. I don't know. Um, but this one is too light for me, so sometimes I mix the two together. Like I wore this when I went to a friend's birthday party and my face was like, no imperfections, nothing if I do so say it myself. Like it was amazing. Double wear literally is double wear. Next, I'm gonna talk about my favorite translucent powder. This is the Rimmel Match Perfection. Um, I've never been able to get my hands on the Laura Mercier translucent powder, so I always look for something that's not gonna give me flashback, so I Google a lot of things, and this said that it was not gonna give me flashback, and I've never had a problem with that. Any event, any party, any time there's flash photography, I've never had a problem with this. I find it's really beautiful, it's finely milled, and it just is beautiful for baking, for setting my entire face. Amazing, this is like my third jar of it. It is amazing. You do get 10 grams of product, which is a lot of product. So definitely check this out. Rimmel Match Perfection Translucent Powder. And then lastly, 2016 had been the year of lashes. Anytime I put makeup on, there was a lash on my face as well. Um, the ones that I use the most are from Dodo Lashes, which you guys know I'm an affiliate with Dodo Lashes. So if you want to check them out, Use code Elise Willow Beauty at checkout. These are my favorite ones. These are the D105s. They're beautiful, they're mink, they're beautiful. And then these ones I have here, I'm wearing a pair right now. These are the Velour Lashes. 
I'm wearing skin to skin on my lashes right now. This one here I have, I've been wearing forever. This is Lashaholic, so I've been wearing these ones for a long time, so a bit worn and torn, but that's Lashaholic. And then these ones I haven't even worn yet, they still got the slip on them. And this one is Show Fluffy, I believe. Yes, show fluffy. And these ones are really, really exciting and I'm excited to wear these. I just don't know what I'm gonna wear like, like eyeshadow wise when I wear these, but I'm very excited to wear them. Now moving on to my favorite music of this year. I have three albums I'm gonna mention to you. The first one is basically the same album, but like different versions. So the first one is Sia, This Is Acting. This came out in January. It is amazing. Highly recommend this for a good listen. Um, it is amazing. There is so many beautiful songs on here. It is basically a pop album, but for Sia. It is amazing. And then she put out a deluxe version of it. Amazing. This has Maddie on the front. Um, this has um, like the greatest on it and things like that. So that's that one. Same album. This one just doesn't have the deluxe tracks on it. So this one has the greatest on. This one doesn't. And then it's not going to be an Elise Wheeler Beauty video without mentioning Little Mix in the video. This came out in November. This is the most amazing Little Mix album they've ever put out. There is beautiful songs on there. There's 15 amazing songs. Um, Private Show, Power, Down and Dirty, um, Shout Out to My Ex, all amazing songs. Like there's not one song on here that I skip. Amazing. Um, this version is the deluxe version and it comes with the Get Weird Tour DVD. Definitely check the, that out as well. It is amazing. Like, I have nothing in here. Like, the DVD is in the DVD player and the CD is in my mum's car because there's no off cord. But I love this. It is so, so good. Highly, highly recommend it to you guys. And that concludes my best of 2016 video. So if you guys liked any of these products or you have tried any of these products, let me know down below. Also, let me know what you loved in 2016 in the comments below. I will be reading them and liking and pinning some and just get excited. Um, if you have anything you want to request or anything like that, tweet them to me. I would love to read them and like them and retweet stuff of yours. So. I will see you guys on Twitter. Bye guys, and I'll see you in my next video.